ya da ya ho na ya ba sisi ya Twaso ewo ho Ajo Sports Live across Ghana. Mwa mo share ye wo Star Times app on so and afi on Facebook and so YouTube and eh, all the platforms. Ye better ma say for watching the show. Um se de midi kai e ma mo e nyan and si no. Uh we are here to uh speak to uh one man. I said the last time I did in Komono was about asking se will Afinajan come to play for the Black Stars? Uh, the next time we are coming, Afnajan is going to the World Cup. Things a uh, 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 good news, a uh, uh, positive vibes. Your name is Mr. Oliver Arthur and uh, Aiden Komo. Or no, and a uh, uh, Arthur Legacy. A uh, 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 Jumakua uh, transforming lives of footballers from Ghana and uh, Africa as a whole. Uh, he's been in it for a long time. My name is So the long introduction, no. Uh, Shots and he said he's back here in the studios. Mr. Olivata, you're more quiet, baby. Ah, me do so. Ah, me name say Bibi Aboko. Yeah, me do Bibi Aboko. Said him because last time I bought Hana, he was just say play a be a wabe wabe waje Ghana ha. Bibi Abe Fabi a be a bonitin. Yes, so free school and a papa be be far no na obo ano then he call Italy agent be a man no or call Roma and on be who say he won now here. Then come to play for the Black Stars. Obeba Omba. Finally, the player came. It's not about Afinajan alone. How do you feel, sir? You picked a player like Afinajan, Minka said from nowhere, but obviously from the grass to go into the World Cup. <laughs> How do you feel? Yeah, the, yeah. the, the World Cup bit changes it all. Yes. You understand? Um, we. Yeah, you nim say I fina had the potential, you nim say yeah, try Abuano to get to another level, but to the level straight to the World Cup and the other things say it's it's a big thing. It's something that we are all very happy about it. The yeah. company in general, my staff, you know, everybody is very happy about it and we yeah, they are sitting in many and say, Yeah, 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 no, it come. Um I think that this um fits in well with your tagline where we say we make the dream work. Okay. Um, we feel that so the dream, a player has a dream. We as athletes also have a dream that we want to change a life. Okay. So together no, we make a dream work, and we are happy. Say so this dream has come to reality. Of course, Odia. Now we are part of the conversation. Before I remember about the main issues, you know, of how Coach Otuado got to Jose Moreno to get Afena, and how he played no, 90 minutes in two crucial games. Then it changes the conversation. Say so Afana will come. Um, I think the beginning, no, na enye say Afana would not come. Yeah. But beginning, no, we felt say uh, it was a bit too early. Yeah. It was a bit too early because now Afana we break into the first team. Um, I think it was about two matches or the three matches. Play, yeah. So it was too early. So big jaho. Yeah. No waba Afcon. We we felt the development was very important. Yeah. Because for us, no, who yeah yeah deal with a lot of young players. So development for us is very key. Yeah. In that development process in an eye per se or go through. Okay. And sana in not coming to have Cornelia, it wasn't like on bomb and perform with on bomb Magan and any man no. But we felt say uh, he needed a lot, little more of playing time. Yes. To have that a little experience, no. See see I couldn't do it. Yeah. But a little experience no because Ghana Nigeria game and now playing for work, it's not an easy game. And yeah. I'm going to have con. So we felt that uh, he needed a little experience before the opportunity. And Nyamiado me came in at the right time. Okay. We felt he came in at the right time and Obaya, and also the impact was felt. Yeah, so, uh, how was Jose Marino letting him go to play against Nigeria? I mean, he said you were close. Uh, then, uh, 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 um, finally, uh, Marino kind. During the conversation, you know, I was there between Oni Otoado, and one yeah. thing came up said, he can do it. Okay. Marino said very clear to Otoado, he can do it. And
and so they say I was very impressed with Otoado. Okay. Because when we we sat down at the meeting, you know, Maruno gave him the the platform. So okay, so you want Afina? Tell me why you want Afina. Um, how do you going to use him? And Otoado analysis our mind about what is seen in the player, how it's going to deploy him on the pitch, and. You know, it means that he knew everything about the player and how he was going to deploy him on the pitch. So that confidence now, Otoado, a whole player anymore. That's why he was able to play him the 90 minutes. Great. Uh, but you, personally, were you impressed with him? And what was the conversation after the two games? Very impressed. I was impressed with him and... Uh, before the game, you no, know, I had a discussion with him, and I feel like, uh, look because frankly speaking, me and my wife outside, there was a little bit of tension. Yeah. But the boy was very relaxed, very relaxed. And um, uh, give me, you no, know, are you ready? So, manager, I always tell you, say I was born ready, and he always say that that he was born ready, and you could see, and he went to see, and frankly speaking, for the Nigeria game, you no. Know, any the game he played against Juventus, no. Yeah. I say I'm not scared about he playing top game again because okay. he looks like he's very relaxed and always ready to. Um, not on Afena Jan. There's another player from O Camp. Ah, uh, he was supposed to be part of this team. And also, a man for more man pro B Choko. They know him very well. Edmond Ado. Um, went to me but what's it, his situation now? No. Edmond came. Edmond yeah. came. He even went to camp. Yeah, yeah. My father but, went to uh, me and bought the game. Exactly. Yeah. Went to me and bought game. No, yes. But last game, my boy and son, or Oba, no, Onya, no Kitwe be and for him, no, he felt say uh, wasn't serious. And the team no report to me. She say three days. Obey okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, but when Obi do Ghana, no um, doctors now and the sanko check here, you no. Know, they felt say uh, he almost is almost having a tear. Okay. And the way I you know, so the boy. I think say Omo into normal and continue no no and he went back and Oko through treatment no I think say this week he will he'll be fine to start he stay he stayed out for almost a month now okay but I think say he'll be ready to to play okay but we understand say his contract at um, Moldova was also almost over I don't know name the um, situation no the contract is not over but okay. the interest. It's and they are very high okay. from other clubs. A okay. lot of clubs have shown interest from Belgium, from uh, Serbia, from uh, Holland. A lot of clubs have shown interest to move on. And we are in discussions. I mean, I will tell you, I can tell you, I have about two contracts on my table. Uh, me, me analyze it okay. to see where he has to move. So possibility of Edmond moving from Moldova no, is very high. In June. Yeah, percentage of maybe bear ninety percent. Oh, I can say ninety five. Ninety five. <laughs> <laughs> because he's okay. He's, he's almost moving. Great. Um good news for 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 um Ghanaian international Edmond Ado. These are players are uh, picked from um, I mean places Albeka say one well, go through the normal pro process I name say play about from Wabogana Premier League Wakohano. These are players who did this and that. Then we know Edmonado, we know Afenajan, because these are two players who have played for the national team. But we have seen a lot on your social media handles, on your website, players that maybe like 20 of them are ah, Omunine breaking through clubs in Europe. How many of them now, or one or two, three, four of them are readily Omudine Bau trim say, these guys have this year, I Omunine year for you. Apart from our Fernando Edmond, we've seen that other guys are coming up. Okay, so um, when you ask me now, it's because on year and year, projection I year, year no? yeah, now our Fernando so defense, baby, I would do it. Okay, because we had other players, I name say Omo ahead of our Fernando, okay, Omo to Minty. I could say there's a player in Hellas Verona, okay, um, a player is Ibrahim, uh, what do you call it? Sorry, um, Hellas Verona. Oh, he didn't look like this. Yes, Suleimana. Okay. Suleimana Ibrahim. Yeah, okay. Suleimana Ibrahim from mm -hmm. Hellas Verona. Um, by June, this player would be a first team player in, wow. in, in Hellas, Hellas Verona. Okay. Um, we have a player, um, Ebenezer Annan. Okay. Um, he even went on preseason with uh, Bologna. 
Um, okay. But Bologna had issues with their second team, so okay. Omu Pese Obua second team. Second team no? He's playing regular, fantastic with the second team of Bologna. Okay. Playing very well. So all these guys in Kevin Fanny say Omu progress in the career ahead of Afena. Exactly. But, uh, I, I can, uh, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Sule, Sule Mana, no. Obe break it through. Yes. In our program, no, Sule Mana was to break through before he even fell. But Omu Tuwidi, I know, said definitely... Um, and then there's another player, um, Ahmed Ewa. Yes. Ahmed Ewa, he's the captain of the youth team and in Parma. Okay. And also, definitely, this June is he's definitely going to be in the in, in the first team. Okay. Um, January transfer window, January February, we moved uh, two players to in, in it to Italy. Okay. One in Bologna, um, Emmanuel Aqua, mm. and then the Savoyan. That we move to Kayari. Okay. These two players you know, so has the potential. But I think say they just went. So the six months they might not. But me and we are both in chill. We should have man and Anna Nedia. Ghana for one share now. Next year our games they will see them play. And the uh Ghanaians uh, watch out. Uh, simply watch out for guys you know, Sule Ibrahim or uh, Hellas Verona and uh, Ebenezer Anan. And so, Bologna, Bologna na Amedewa, and so Parma. So uh, the list in the dorsum, I've seen others. Eh, bia, they may even come mm -hmm. earlier than we would you know. Football, they uh, in follow sa logic, you know. See, exactly. I, I, I'm glad. But yeah, him say a Arthur legacy. But there is also a house. There is also something like an academy. Or be, how the dust starts. And they said, yeah, we see nya players you know, from across Africa. They are more about the house. Is that house only in Accra? Okay, so um, that academy, mm -hmm. um, I think you said there is a uh, wrong perception. You say mm -hmm. I have an academy, okay. but it's not my academy. Okay. What I did was um, when the academy started, okay. when they started operating, okay. I I met um, the CEO, Carlin. Okay. 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 Um, Kathleen Odruan, sir. Okay. I had a discussion with her. I saw the vision, what they want to do. And okay. I think, say, fitting with what, what after legacy, your dream, whatever we want to do. So I've, I've been acting as a consultant to them and okay. directing them, even for coach. I know I have okay. to help them to get a coach. So okay. that is a house that we have where the young players come in there and then watch I two years, you should be out. Um, so it's not an academy uh, story. No, no. It's, it's, they play in second division. They were in third division. They okay. won the league. Okay. And then they are in yeah, second, second division, division now. Okay. So it's, it, they play in the league in okay. Ghana. But we're using the, they use the players the, um, 16, 17 years to play the league. And Udi 18 years. Now, okay. Yes, they were time as well. So you're Africa. You do more and it works now more. It's it's something that is really brilliant. When you see them play, mm -hmm. Who say, mm, we are different, Kakra? But who say, of all the Omo Yenina, as Omo GD, Omo Pe, a dinner or Ghana, they are doing the business of exactly exporting. because that's what I'm saying. It is, it is there's the football business and mm. there is the there is the publicity yes. where you need fans, fans, but I don't think say Euro Africa is working. To say, say, oh, here, fans. Me, you say, my dinner, how crimes and the fans here bear 20 pay. Okay. You understand? So it's not about the fans now, now supporters, now, yeah. I think so it's the bigger picture. We're looking at the, the future and the bigger where the players will go out there mm -hmm. and come in, and then now it's for the whole nation. Yeah. Like the Afina, like the Sule, like the Anand, like yeah. the Ahmed. They will come back, and then everybody benefits. Into, and it's a, a small um, club, okay, mm. but with a big dream. Yeah, it's a small club with a big dream. I would say players now have body in Nigeria or more pass it through. How long now, uh, Euro Africa are in existence? Euro Africa only third year, period. just the third year. But how many players now? Um, eight players now. Wow, uh, third year, but eight players already. It means that uh, every year, minimum of uh, two years, three. Yeah. three. Uh, wow. Uh -huh. and the, that's Euro Africa. But how do you do the selection process? Okay, so um, we have a scout. Um, our main scout, chief scout, is called Gideon Ato. Okay. And Gideon, on Osorano Perry and Bibia, he's going around, going around the nation, going around the country, and then he tries to look for the young talents, you know, 
then that is that is when you're talking about your africa okay okay mm -hmm. so to bring them and then we have an a coach a consulting italian coach mm -hmm. who at times his residence he goes and comes back so whilst gideon copy he plays in our bar yeah then the coach will give the final approval and the fine directions on what they because what we've seen they say talent need the award talent in the award but i can't talent in no direction no and no i Okay. And this coach is doing that direction with the talent, you know, okay. and it's op opening up. And see, give you on the other day, or sorry, or change it, it is or search it, it said, yeah, a man for copy gold, you know, yeah, he's searching for <laughs> players across Ghana, across whether Ghana. you play for a club or across not. Across Ghana, see, see, I'm not crying, we are standing a little bit to Nigeria and Ivory Coast, okay. And he's doing those trips too. <laughs> um, they are. I don't know whether you're going to, but there are two yeah. um, way. You said this is your Africa, like I said, mm. your Africa that we are like consulting to them. Yeah. Okay, um, we're not the club. Yes. Now, what we do as Ata Legacy is the invitational tournament. Yeah. It's a tournament that we do as as a as a company. Okay. To on earth the talents. Okay. So your Africa, then you one side, and then the invitational tournament. Is there. Okay. Now, the international tournament is what is going to happen now. Okay. Uh, from tomorrow to Thursday. Or Tuesday. Or Tuesday, 26 okay. to Thursday, 28. Mm -hmm. Now, this tournament, we've been doing it in the past over the years. That's the same tournament that Boachi came through, Aqua came, Donsa came, um, Duncan, Isaac, Kofi, Chipsa. All these players came through the tournament, invitational yeah. tournament. Now, what we are doing this year is very different. This year, there's so much involvement. It's been, we gave Gideon eight months room to do the scouting of regional teams. Okay. Because we realize, say, if we bring a team to come and play in the tournament, they come in, but it be a whole team, you not know, or one player pair, or yet top. Well, yeah. And to imagine, say, if you bring scouts of 15, 20, yes. then you need, you need a lot of that teams, about 20, 30 teams, to play to get those single players. Yeah. But what we are trying to do is, we're doing regional teams okay. so that the team is selected in the region. Region. In the time of Beba. Not best in, in the like, labor. Okay. Okay. So Gideon has gone around of eight months ni yeah. central region brown a half region 18 and then he goes most of the time with this italian coach okay and the players now picking up players that almost see two more exactly okay. okay so the tournament we're going to have this time is going to be 18 teams playing the tournament half of those teams are regional teams okay. we have brown a half we have upper east we have northern region we have central western mm -hmm. greater accra so these are the regional teams that are going to play in the tournament. Okay. And then we invited some individual clubs. Okay. And then we are having a club, another selected team coming from Nigeria. Okay. And one from Ivory Coast. Okay. So 18 teams going to play, play in the, the tournament. Play the invitational tournament, you know. But European scouts, we have to be <laughs> they are they are they are landing um, 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 by and there okay um, and they would 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 be picking them at the airport um a lot of clubs are coming a lot of club we target number 15 clubs coming in for the invitational wow. tournament you know to scout and to move the players out one good thing i want to add to it nese we have the full support of the Italian embassy. Oh, okay. Because they see the good work we are doing mm -hmm. and the support the Italian government is helping. Yeah. Um, Ghana football, I would say. Yeah. It's, it's really helping us because we can see that um, at this moment, you know, we have um, the ambassador herself yeah. coming to kickstart the tournament. Oh, okay. In the tournament, no channel, but the Italian ambassador herself will be there mm. to kick the ball to start the tournament. Okay. On the last day, we have the Minister of Youth and Sports also coming to... Oh, you know, yeah. the good works. They see yeah. because the last time I met the minister, we had discussions, you No, know? He feels uh, <laughs> he mm. even feels, this is not a project for an individual to yeah. do. He thinks uh, it's something that the corporate world needs to support because... It is it's our business we're doing, but we're changing lives. Lives. We're making dreams work. And it is like a social responsibility yeah. thing. So we think it's important to if the corporate world comes on board even to help her. And that's why the minister himself wants to come. And the ambassador always is she's delighted. She's so happy that she's going to be part of, of 
such such a thing. Uh, ambassador no wo dia say no one say your foul now your player <laughs> this has any problem be any. Am o kwa Bridge Street but ochna a lot of european scouts omo land there ne ababe she e bia na euro africa for no crap player omo am peke wo no another scout may see you say we see you in the team now they will call that's uh, the opportunity uh, 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 since you picky players in every there is no need that will be baby register or something mm -hmm. uh, what what are the words I'll be country teams or more bebo and will be a maybe our supply in a player or bebo or china um I think so more I yes, select your money dear um, we expect say uh, this is a big platform for yeah. you. It's an opportunity. It is it is so important. I say a um, young player wanting to play in the national team, not about tournament to market himself. This is the market. We brought the market home. Okay. Yeah, the Abaha scouts mm -hmm. number into Yeah. And uh, when I'm doing the work, I don't go asking for scouts to just come. Oh, Bragana Bina. No, it yeah. is a scout because be, before you even come, I even told you the value of the players and. It is a when you're ready, you don't come. Don't come. And then I don't mean cost out to be. I say okay, my mentor will take it in a bride. Mm -hmm. If you are coming, you're paying. You have to, your own hotel, serious. your yeah. ticket. So the clubs already invest in the scouts coming. Um, hotel maybe be there because, because so, of the trust in exactly. So they know say in the scout to be or baby. I know it's really coming for a player. In the players no many opportunity in idea. You don't have to joke on the pitch. Yeah. This is a chance for you. You have to go in and give your all. And that's it. You have the chance and you're going. Okay. And see, what's your uh, program? Uh, Ajigano Park. Ajigano okay. Park. Are you yeah. open to the public? Are you open to the public? Okay. Um, people who are, the only issue here, people are more person more bobby. Okay. Uh, more person more bobby, this particular tournament, I late. Late. What I will tell them, they say, if they can still continue following in my area, because you will, we are, we'll start planning for next year, dear, the regional tournaments okay. you know? so it will start for maybe june july so maybe we'll start with greater accra you call central you call western still trying to even though you see as a sign regions you no know, yeah. we have you have 16 yeah, regions yeah, yeah, but yeah. we still want to do the 10 regions because some of the regions are too small so you might not get a full team from yeah, there of course so we'll still do the 10 regions and try as much as possible to, to merge the others yes yeah. exactly make that this and put them together for next year yeah. april so the man uh omo abua are uh, changing some lives dreams of some players and uh, the dreams of even the country because you see a new striker a new striker gradually we got a striker uh 18 19 year old striker on a nigeria for trust a con more um rant here didn't do you know more about 290 minutes 90 minutes again our qualifier here called world cup so uh, a lot of players from the camps. Three years in existence for Euro Africa, and Mr. Oliver Tadia has been there since the days of your da 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 da. And he, the trust and all the confidence are European scouts in Warrington or Mobile. And this is to the greater good of Ghana because a lot of Ghanaian talent uh, will be out there for your national teams. And so, it's a great uh, service to the country. Uh, no wonder the Minister of Events Post and uh, the Italian ambassador. Bedru uh, Bebi and the government of Ghana, when you are changing lives through football. And to Mr. Olivata, I know pay, you better was say, now you are sharing the moon, say, after we are heading to Moino, you better have you near who say, play away so, yeah, buy and women, you are picking or Momonso, a national team, and I'm also any million dollar contractor, or Monso AC, a kind of I'm a dream, no. I ah, yeah, successful. T e better was here no pay for always coming here. Yeah. For the opportunity, they be a mumai na ni aye ye no so at least ye to me ama we are seeing how we are trying to make people's dream. Of work. course, people's dream work. And yeah. to all the guys, Ochna, good luck to be a nyame embuamo na munti me. We will come there to try and cover the program. Say a bit me a bit chat na ye the files na to ho yen so there be there be. Player no break it through any other guys. Oh, that now boy just a fine crown. So you ever ban your baby chat? Oh, I drink and pack just a stone through. See, you're dying for your bar. Now you're better with my dear. So your Mr. Oliver Arthur of Arthur Legacy and also consultant for Euro Africa are almost changing a lot of lives. Then you're in the dinkomo.